Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I transformed this shoe storage cabinet into my cat's bathroom. Hello folks, it's been a while since I've made a video. I think the last time I made a video and posted it on YouTube was August. Around that time I was feeling a little burnt out on making videos and also I was struggling with my mental health and I knew that I needed some time to take for just for myself so i did that i learned a lot i made a lot of discoveries i'm happy that i was able to do that not everybody has the opportunity to take that time to focus on themselves so much i'm very grateful over the winter i've just been in phoenix enjoying the warm weather and working making money trying to save money and get some things done that i've been wanting to do i just got new tires for the van i'm so excited about those i'm gonna get the van washed and waxed that's another big expense and now i think i'm gonna take on this project that i've been wanting to do for a while the van is a mess right now so please excuse it I have this shoe storage cabinet that I do not use. I hardly ever open it. I just wear basically the same three pairs of shoes and they kind of stay at the front of the van. I'm thinking about making some changes, which will require some construction, some power tools. I'll show you what I'm thinking. This is Sadie's litter box and it just kind of sits here out in the open in this little area here. It's not totally in the way, but I think we can do better. This is the cabinet where all of my shoes live. Pretty much all my shoes. They're just kind of shoved in there. There are a couple shelves. I also have, let me turn the light on so you can see better. Boop. I keep paper towels here. I very rarely use paper towels. They're just for like emergencies. So that's where those go since I don't even open this cabinet much. And I have a bunch of paper bags I've collected from Whole Foods that I just reuse and I use as trash bags sometimes. I use this when I get a fresh pressed juice at Whole Foods in the morning so that I don't have to keep getting a new one every time. It doesn't spill over in my cart while I'm shopping. I don't know if there's going to be enough space or not. I feel like I can make something work. But I'm thinking about taking at least one of these shelves out, maybe both and putting the litter box or maybe getting a smaller litter box putting it in there I'll maybe have like some shelves up here to put things maybe this will be like sadie's whole domain here and then i will cut a hole out like right here for sadie to go in and out so then her whole litter box will be contained in this area it will be out of the way it won't be an eyesore anymore and we'll have a little more space here I'm thinking I might need a jigsaw to cut the hole out. I don't even know how to get these shelves out, but probably figure out a way. So then where am I going to put all these shoes that I very rarely even wear? So I was thinking about putting them on the back of the passenger seat. You can't see it anyways because I usually have the curtain covered. And I just ordered on Amazon a thing to hang on the back. A thing that goes in the closet and it just arrived so I'm gonna go pick it up Say hi. Okay, so we got the shoe organizer and let's we'll see how it's gonna fit might have to cut it might be too long but we'll see Okay, so I cut off the excess and it looks like it's fitting pretty good now. And I tied it to the seats. The only thing is, it's blocking the heater. It's all nicely secured here. I cut this part off and I cut two parts off the bottom because it was too long. So that's where the heat comes out. So that means uh, if the heater's on, it'll be blowing directly on it and it's probably gonna melt it. So, the only way to solve that would be to pretty much like either cut this part off or cut the whole thing off and that would be even less um so i'm 
not sure what to do about that yet. But we'll figure something out. And I'm gonna start putting shoes in there and see what I can come up with. Apparently I didn't have that many shoes to begin with. Not as many as I thought. <clears throat> it just seemed like a lot because they were kind of shoved in that small space. Uh, so I cut this little panel off so that the heat can come through. Hopefully this is far enough away from it to where it's not going to melt it. But we're definitely going to test it and find out. This is how it looks so far. Pretty pleased. We do have a few more shoes over here, but I'll find a place for them. I think these are gonna be donated. I don't need those anymore. So yeah, bunch of shoes I don't wear. <laughs> but I don't wanna get rid of, cause I do wear them sometimes for special occasions. Now, this is more empty, and I can figure out what we're gonna do with that. Uh, these shelves are in there really good. I'm gonna stare at these shelves and brainstorm and figure out how to get them out. So I looked on Amazon and found a litter box that will fit in here. It's going to be a kitten size, but Sadie's my kitten, so I think she'll be okay. <laughs> so amused. But yeah, Sadie's not a huge cat, so I think she'll be alright with the smaller pan. We just got to figure out how to get this bottom shelf out. So when me and Nuri made this van we did a very good job to make sure that nothing was going to move around while we were driving and yeah we did a really good job of it so good that if we want to change anything it's very hard <laughs> that includes these shelves like they're really in there um i'm thinking i might have to get some sort of tool to like cut the metal out i'm not really sure um that might be the easiest way but yeah just gotta get that shelf out and put the pan in here and then we'll cut a hole somewhere over here and that'll be good to go might even put this shelf and somehow install it up here so there will be two small shelves but that'll be later I guess I'm gonna go to Home Depot and see what we can find out or look at some YouTube videos. The best way to go about this is. So bonus, these little hooks came with the shoe organizer and I think I can use them. I'm just gonna put them here and have some extra hooks. I got these big boys from the Home Depot. We'll see if they work. If not, there was a lovely little hacksaw for six bucks that I'll probably pick up. And whether this works or not, I'm going to take it back if it doesn't damage it too much because I only need it for this one thing and I don't need to haul this thing around with me. Take it back. Someone else can use it for something else. I might not be strong enough to do this. <sighs> Made a little indention. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. It might work if I had bigger muscles. I don't know. It's hard to say. All right, I'm probably gonna go back and try to get the little hacksaw. It looked a little flimsy, but we'll see if it works. I don't know. All right, I got the hacksaw. I imagine it would take a while, but let's get into it. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Let's see. That seems to be working a lot better. Yes. I think we're gonna get this thing out of here. Ah. Yes! Yay! The first one is cut. That wasn't too bad. Now we just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more <laughs> to cut. <laughs> We'll see if we can get it done tonight. I don't know. I think we can do it. Let's let's go. Oh, this one's this one came out already. Okay. So this one was already loose, so that's good. So we only have six more maybe. Let's go with the ones in the back. 
Yes, finally got this side done. Let's take this little guy out. And we'll see if we can just pull this out. That would be amazing. Let's pull it out. That'll be so cool. Wood. Yes! Yes! <gasps> oh, I'm so glad I'm done sawing. I didn't film the whole thing because it took a while and my hands are so sore. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done something like that. Oh, I know I'm going to be sore tomorrow, but I'm so happy that it's done. Yay! I got it out. <laughs> I did it. Good job. Good job. Look at it. It's intact. I might be able to use it still. I'm so happy. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that. That's where Sadie's going to poop now. We have to figure out how to cut a hole here. Yeah, that's probably in there pretty good. There's probably nails that we covered up. I don't know. I don't know how that's in there. It might be cute to have a round hole there and just use a round saw blade thing. But then I would have to buy that. I'm sure I could return it, but... I don't know, those round things can be expensive. If I had a jigsaw, I'd probably rent it from Home Depot. I probably should have asked them while I was in there, but I can do it tomorrow. I might spend the night in the Home Depot parking lot and then just wake up early and go in there and find out some more about the jigsaw situation. And I'll probably uh, watch some more YouTube videos and see what my best options are. Sadie loves it already. You love your new bathroom? She's so excited. <laughs> She's so excited. Ooh, I'm excited too, baby. I'm so excited. So to decide on how big I should do the door for Sadie, I'm doing a little experiment. I'm doing a template. Sadie thinks I'm talking to her, so she's talking back. Um, so I cut a four by five inch rectangle out of this bag. I'm going to see if she'll go in there. I don't think she'll have a problem. That looks like it's plenty big, but we'll see. I'm just going to put it down and see if I can put her in there without using food. I'll put it up here so everyone can see. <laughs> I don't know. She's like, why would it go in there? How would I go in there, Mom? What's wrong with you? Look, look, baby, look, 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 look. It's right there. It's right there. Oh, she halfway right in there. All right, I'm gonna open it all the way in. I only opened it partially. She says, no, mom, I'm not going to fall for your tricks. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm going to put her in the bag and see if she'll go out. Oh, she's so angry. <laughs> Sadie, I'm going to cut that whole baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You did it. Okay. <laughs> she did it. I don't know if that was captured, but I put her in the bag and she went straight through the hole. Okay, that should be big enough. Hey, hey, so I got Sadie's litter box and she's looking at it like, you expect me to use that? It is small. <laughs> it is small. It is possible, Sadie. You can use it, I promise. That's the old one. That's the new one. So it is a bit smaller, but we're gonna make it work, right? It'll be better in the long run. You'll like it. You'll grow to love it. <laughs> Yay! I am so excited to throw this thing away. You can see it 
cracks very easily. One time there was a water gallon up here and I forgot to take it down before we started driving and it slid and fell right on top of this and it cracked and I tried to tape it the best I could. So it's a little janky and it's just an eyesore. Like no one wants to look at that. So, <laughs> so excited to trash that. It's gonna feel so good when I throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> okay, the litter box fits really well. Um, maybe, maybe in the future I could find a slightly bigger one. It's like, I need a medium one. This is like a small, and it's like all they have are small and large. Like the larges were too big. So maybe along the way, if I find like a medium sized one, then we'll upgrade. So what I... And thinking for the whole is made some markings with the tape measure and thinking it's gonna be like right here the hole's gonna be here the tricky part is this thing right here I don't know where the nails are in this so hopefully when I start cutting then I don't run into any nails I don't know how that's gonna be so we're just gonna have to start cutting and see. I'm about to go to Home Depot and rent the tools I need. I need a jigsaw and a drill. I've never rented tools before, so we'll see how that goes. They have four hour rentals. Other than that, it's gonna, it's gonna be the full day. So hopefully I can get it done in four hours and I don't have to pay more. I also need painter's tape. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. I'm curious. I'll also need well, I do have sandpaper, and I'll need paint to paint the hole and everything. It's always a little nerve-wracking cutting holes in things. So once you start cutting, you can't go back, but... You don't like your new bathroom? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing my best. No, I don't... I don't have anything. No. No. Yeah, I wish there was an easier way to cut the hole. Okay. Okay, I'll come in and talk with you in person. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. My girl is so sweet, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> So I went ahead and taped it off. We didn't need to buy any tape. I remembered that I already had masking tape. So I just taped off the area. It helps protect the wood when you're cutting it. So we went with the Makita. We rented them for four hours. We have four hours to get this done. I'm sure it'll be fine. So that's the saw. We're gonna start with the drill. So let's put this away. This is the drill. You know the drill. Okay, say so you're in the way. You're in the way, muffin. Yeah. So the people at the rental tool area were so nice and I appreciate them so much for helping me out and helping me get the best deal for what I'm trying to accomplish. Oh meow. 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 Oh, that's big. That's what she said. I need to measure and make some markings just to make sure I know exactly where to drill. Get a pen and the, the tape measure. Normally I would open the sliding door and have more space, but I'm in the Home Depot parking lot and I just don't want to draw any attention to myself. I just want to do this as quickly as possible without any hassle. Don't worry everyone, I got this. <laughs> We're gonna go three inches from the edge. And I must say that, of course, there's probably a better way to do this. This is just how I'm doing it, just so you know. Yes, Sadie, I'm gonna need you to move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, this does not have to be perfect. I don't think it's just so this is gonna be our square now I need to start drilling and making lots of loud noise separately from renting the drill and the saw I had to buy the blades 
and the drill bit separately. So, which was only around like 12 bucks maybe total. Not too bad. So, I will keep these and I'll return the other ones just in case I need it again. I'll have that at least. need to drill in the corners so that we can get the saw in there to start sawing. It's not drilling very well. I had it in reverse. We're good to go. <laughs> oh, okay. There. Now we can reverse it. Look at that hole. Now it's time to start sawing. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna wear my sunglasses for eye protection because I don't have goggles and <laughs> I'm scared. And this is the smallest paint I could find. It's Bear Dynasty. It's a color sample, but I just need a tiny, tiny bit of paint. This is the smallest one they have, like five bucks. So, and then these little brushes are like a dollar. They're just kind of throwaway, like one-time use kind of brushes. looking so good I'm so happy <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for like an entire year I'm happy with how it turned out I'm proud of myself I'm covered in sawdust <laughs> yeah look at that it's gonna need a few more coats and I think while it's drying while I'm waiting for it to dry I'm gonna go ahead and return those tools we still have a few hours left, but we're already done, honey. Um, now I'm going to install the shelf that I took out earlier and put it on top to make two small shelves. I just went to Home Depot and got some little L brackets and I think it's just what I need. We're going to put them in all the four corners and put the shelf up. I'm going to do my best to do it with just a screwdriver. The drill would have come in handy with this one, but I think I can handle it with just my hands. We'll see. Okay, I installed the top shelf. It's super ghetto, but hopefully it will stay for now. I'll show you what I came up with. To keep it simple, I just screwed these L brackets on. Even doing that though, they weren't long enough. So like when I would slide it this way, slide it to the left, it would fall down because it wasn't long enough here so what I did was I put a screw here to keep it from moving to the left and then here it was still coming so I put this uh, I had a piece of rubber band uh, I tied a piece of rubber band on the top of this screw put it in so it wouldn't go all the way and now it's keeping it from sliding off so it might move around a little bit, but that's okay, as long as it's going to stay, pretty much. That's all that matters to me. This is just about done. We'll just put the finishing touches and show you the before and after. 